Hi y'all and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to go ahead and talk to you all about what happened with my cousin. And we've been back, we came back the day before Easter, so Saturday. And you'll be watching this video probably Friday. I didn't want another week to go by. So I definitely wanted to give you all an update and I'll be honest in saying that I was not real happy with what I was told about my cousin. So as you may or may not know, the poofiness on my cousin were fading away. It was becoming very flat and I'll insert the description of that purse here and you can clearly see that one of the attributes to that purse is embossed puffy lambskin so they actually do use the word puffy to me puffy was what i experienced when i first bought the bag now i work from home i don't go anywhere a lot of the times when i have showcased my bag I have only put stuff in the middle because I didn't like the way it became an accordion whenever I stuffed both sides in the middle. So I was very careful about not overstuffing it. So I'm getting ahead of myself. So when I went in, I explained to them what my concerns were with the bag or my dissatisfaction with the bag. And I was told that it's normal wear and tear. So, <laughs> I just almost cannot get over them saying that because to me, if you're advertising a bag with the main attributes being poofy, embossed lambskin, then I would expect that to be an attribute that I'm going to be able to enjoy for the long term. And so they went into all these details about why it went flat that i probably wore it a lot and that when it rubbed against my body that maybe the poofiness came out and that that was natural wear and tear for this bag that that's going to happen over time that it's very normal and that perhaps i had overstuffed it when i would wear it i would put too many things in it and so that really, that really upset me because I take very good care of my things. I don't overstuff them. As I mentioned before, I did not like in particular for that purse to look like when all three compartments are full in that purse, it widened the purse drastically. If I were to overstuff it, that I would run into things because I would not be used to the size. But honestly, I never put more in that bag than I needed. I put my wallet, my small wallet, my Rosaline wallet, a lipstick, my key fob. And then on the side, maybe I put my reader case, my AirPods. Nothing that would create or cause the puffy lambskin embossing to become flat. And so I just kind of felt like they were blaming me for it going flat, that I somehow did something to create the issue that I had at hand and that even if they were to give me a new bag that this particular bag was gonna have that natural wear and tear where the puffy lambskin would become flat and so they kind of stood there they kind of stood on that they said this is normal wear and tear this is not considered a flaw this is not something we would consider as a repair because even if we repaired it, it would still it would still have the same result over time. If you watch my video on selling your luxury items 
and we looked at cousins on the fashion file website we saw how badly the wear and tear was on that bag not just on the exterior not just on the bottom but also the zipper where maybe people would overstuff them i personally did not but where other people may have and my zipper was not as curvy as some of the ones that we saw on fashion file and that purse is so expensive it has gone up by twelve hundred dollars since i bought it so i bought it for 35 and now you can buy it for 47 and the demand for that bag was so high that i feel like everybody has one everybody has a cousin and if they don't have one they can get one the availability is there you can go to fashion file like we did we saw all the ones that were available you can go online right now and put one in your cart and maybe the color that i have is not as readily available but nonetheless it's not a bag that it's not like the speedy nano that kind of was here and then they sold them all and then it was gone like you couldn't get it anymore that's not the case with the cousin you can buy it as i mentioned off the louis vuitton site or on a secondhand luxury website and you can get a variation of the bag in various colors and sizes and 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 so the availability is there so the supply and demand is kind of equal they have the supply for the demand and so basically that's what they said that it was just wear and tear perhaps wear and tear that i caused or that would naturally be caused just by owning the bag and using the bag and that that should be expected with that bag not only did they tell me for that bag but they said any bag that has unprompt leather the imprint of the LV on any type of leather is going to do that. The little girl showed me her bag. When you go into Louis Vuitton, all of the associates have like a little black impromptu logo embossed bag. And she showed me her bag and she said, see, mine's leather and it's already rubbing off as well because it hits against my body and blah, 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 blah. I didn't really, I, I didn't want to hear it, honestly, y'all, because that bag is so expensive like you cannot compare that bag to the little bags that they carry around and i'm sorry i'm not trying to be rude or ugly about it but you cannot compare lambskin to the type of leather that she was trying to make a comparison to and so if you are looking to buy a cousin just know that that's part of the wear and tear according to According to the Louis Vuitton manager, that's normal wear and tear, and that's going to happen to your bag, and there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing they're going to do about it, and there's nothing that you can do about it, because mine sat on the shelf for a very long time, and I didn't use it regularly. I owned the bag for, I bought it in October of 21, almost a year and a half, so having own that bag for only a year and a half for somebody who didn't really use that bag on a regular basis to experience that flatness i'm sorry for and and to have paid that much i just don't buy it i just don't feel that that was the appropriate response to give to me to anybody who is experiencing this because again in the description embossed puffy lambskin puffy lambskin to me that's puffy not flat it doesn't come with a disclaimer it doesn't say in time the puffiness is gonna go away no it doesn't say that and i was and am very upset at the way that this was handled here's the problem with them not seeing it as a damaged item so what happens is if it's not a flaw, if it's not a, a damaged, if it's not a damaged flaw that you had nothing to do with, then they have to replace it or give you the current value of the bag and you can pick out another bag if you want to or 
they will replace that one and give you another one if that's what you choose or you can pick something else so if they're categorizing this as as wear and tear that absolves them from any liability of replacement of equal replacement of current value replacement it ab it absolves them from all of that if i wanted anything done about it that i was going to have to go above the store's head and pursue it that way now i'm over it i'm over it i don't want the bag i'm over it and so i opted to sell my bag i, I was upset about it that I didn't even want the bag anymore. I just decided that I was just going to sell it and be done with it because my bag still looked amazing. I had no color transfer. The bottom was beginning to wear, but it wasn't bad. As I mentioned, my zipper wasn't really bad either. And so it was in very sellable condition. And so that's what I decided to do. I just decided to sell it as much as I liked the bag. It's like my husband said, it was it was a very high maintenance bag for what I was getting in return because I had the camel color I had to worry about color transfer now I had to worry about overstuffing it now it was taking on a different look because I was using it and it was getting flat and it just it was just not the bag that I really liked the day that I bought it and so as I mentioned, it's up to you if you want to buy it. Just know going in that this is what their stance is going to be, at least for me. That's what I was told. And if you have the bag and you're okay with it going flat or losing the poofiness, then that's great. If you're not going to be happy with that, then I would say if it's in the sellable condition to go ahead and sell it and try to get your money back before it becomes an item that's not going to be sellable because people want that bag i wanted that bag because of the poofiness in it i would think that other people were going to want the bag for the poofiness in it and if that main characteristic is not in the bag any longer then it just becomes another bag so anyway that is what happened with my bag and i don't have the bag anymore and i'm okay with it i'm okay with not having the bag anymore so thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.